Hello, um, hello Japan, hello Tokyo, hello Slush. I'm so honored to be here. It's my first time in uh, Japan, and all of a sudden I happen to be in the audience where everybody knows about Thunderbeam. My name is Kaidi Rosalep. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Thunderbeam, and I am from Estonia. The um, organizers of the events asked me to tell the story about the founder. So I thought I'm going to tell a story about the young girl who grew up in a very different world than we are right now. And I used the Estonian proverb for the headline of the story. No stone is raised without raising. Or in Estonian, ükski kivi ei tõuse ilma tõstmata. I was born in 1976 in a very, very different world. In a country or the state which was called Soviet Union, Estonia was not on the map. We had the borders around us and the borders set the limits on our thoughts, on our travels and on our visions. We were all part of youth organizations of party called Communistic Party. The party sets our vision, the party sets our ultimate goal, which is to serve the party, which is to serve this one weird country. I was 15 when Estonia gained independence. And Estonia is one of very, very rare countries where we gained independence without losing any life. Instead of fighting, we were singing. So we are on the map, and we've been on the map, and, and we have been a very successful country on the map. At the age of 20, when I was studying law, the government's office asked me to join the IT department. So I became the first IT lawyer in Estonia. And my first task was to take part of building or writing the Estonian Digital Signatures Act. And this photo is the commission uh, of Estonian Digital Signatures Act. As a matter of fact, we stand on the uh, stairs of Finnish parliament. So we went to Finland to learn from the best. And actually, in some meanings, Estonia has had a very nice um, kind of coincidence that in Soviet Union, one of the few computing centers was located in Estonia. So when we gained the independence, we had brains, but we had no technology. So our neighbors provided us the technology. And that's how Estonia built up the most innovative and most advanced e-society and e-government in the world. I then joined the Central Securities Depository, which is part together with the Stock Exchange, and in 2006, I became the CEO of NASDAQ Stock Exchange in Estonia. First, um, and, and the same goes with, with the being the IT lawyer, is that I didn't know the IT much. And when I became the head of the stock exchange, I didn't know about the stock exchange because it wasn't my interest. But you had to learn. You have to take the challenge and and grew with the challenge. And both 96 and 2006 have been very interesting years in my life, but also very tough years in my life. It's when you know that you have to build something and you have to run something where you actually don't know exactly what it is. And in stock exchange, I learned one very important lesson is that the biggest asset of the leader and of the manager is the team. And the leader cannot be the smartest person in the room, but the team has to be 
very smart and very strong to support the leader to run the company. Only together you can achieve the goals. This is my family. And that's another asset in, in my story. So coming from Soviet Union, this means that actually it doesn't matter where you come from. Um, running a stock exchange or, or taking a big challenge is, is not about what you've been doing, but it's about what you go after. And being a mom, it, it's not a disability. You can do and you can run an international business and having this wonderful gang waiting for you at home and supporting you at home. So these are my assets. And this is the, the biggest challenge, professional challenge of my life, and it's called Thunderbeam. Thunderbeam is a startup stock exchange. It's a global startup stock exchange that we built on the blockchain technology. Those who know about stock markets, these are the participants and intermediaries between the investor who has the money and companies who needs the money. And every single stock market is very local. And it has the trading hours, it has the opening hours and closing hours nowadays when the technology is there. And what we've showed to the world is this is going to be the future and this is the power of the blockchain. So there is a technology who will now provide the trust instead of institutions and instead of people. So it's going to be a very interesting transformation of, of the way we exchange assets, the way we exchange securities, land, um, cars, whatever we can exchange. And, and Fonderbeam uh, Stock Exchange is open for 24-7. Uh, it's global, it's not regional, and you can access the market. You can go and invest into global startups, and um, you, if you're a startup founder, can get access to the global capital. So this is the big dream, and this is the vision of the Fonderbeam, to become the liquidity of, of the post IPO uh, world. But uh, Vonnebim is, is not just about stock exchanges. It's like what we like to say. It's what if Bloomberg, Nasdaq, and AngelList had a baby. We have the data, which gives you the understanding of what's happening in the startup market. Um, and we have more than 150,000 startups in the database. And only s very few people working with the data. Again, the power of the technology. Then we have the funding, where companies can raise the funds and investors invest and then the trading. It's a very unique com uh, combination uh, globally. And yes, we do it from Estonia, from a very small little country in the northern parts of uh, Europe. Because the new world is global and the new country, what we start living in, is the planet of Earth. And we have to take the challenge. And that's again the the benefit of, of coming from a small country, you have to think big. Fonderbeam is, is now operating in Europe. We launched in Baltics, we launched in Southeast Europe, we launched in uh, UK, and we're about to come to Asia Pacific. The investors in the platform are already from 82 countries. 82 countries. We've been up and running more than a half a year, and the investors from 82 countries find the platform and, and the service interesting enough. And, and startups are applying more than, from more than uh, 30 countries. This is the photo. Many of you know, this is the article about Fonderbeam in the Wired Japan. And this was the first moment when me coming from a small country, uh, trying to really reach to the global audience, felt that, yeah, I'm the global star. Because I was in New York then when I had the interview with the Wired Japan. 
and the photo shooting was in New York. So you can imagine, you're from Estonia, you travel to New York, give an interview to the Wired Japan, and the photo shooting is in New York. So this specific photo is taken at the Madame Tussauds Museum. And, and after the article, we found very many Japanese investors coming to the platform. Then all of a sudden, we found a tweet saying that, hey, Fonabim is the next global influencer. And then we started to understand who is behind the tweet or what is happening. And then we found that your market here is looking for something, uh, what Fonabim has to provide. This is the best team on earth. As we said at the beginning, and, and what I've learned from the stock exchange is, you're nothing without the team. So the asset to change the world, to go and conquer it, to fight, to launch, to run the business, you need a very, very good team. Please meet Fonderbeam. And, and Fonderbeam has had a very nice visit from the president of Estonia in the middle, uh, President Kersti Kaljolaid, who is very startup supportive. And she came to support us because she also believes that it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter who you are, what is your background, what matters is your vision. What matters is your courage to go after the vision. And, and that's what the raising the star, uh, stones is about. If, if you have a vision, just go after it. Fonabim has been uh, very fortunate to pick the best stars in the team. And in the team also, this means that it's not just about the employees, but it's about the partners, it's about the strategic partners, and it's also about the investors whom we am, have on board. So we had the privilege to select the best ones. And now is the moment where I'd like to announce something. In front of the audience here in Slash Tokyo, because we have a new member in Fonderbeam family, a new, very open-minded and very innovative and a partner with a good heart to join the Fonderbeam team. So I would like to welcome on stage Tysa Sun and welcome Mistletoe. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Fonderbeam family. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I like to, uh, I'm thrilled to announce that we, Misuto, has invested to the Panda Beam to accelerate their growth so that uh, Asia and Pacific uh, investors and startups can uh, invest into the great startups to make the world better. Thank you. As I say, it's to go after the world and to go after the markets, it's difficult to do it alone. So next big market for Fonderbeam is Asia Pacific. And for going the Asia Pacific, opening businesses in the Asia Pacific and helping us to build the new generation yes. of funding, growth companies, funding ideas, trading, Mistletoe is going to be our partner. Yes, um, uh, let me introduce myself briefly. Uh, I'm the Taizo San, uh, the founder of the Misuto, and also that I'm the one of the core member of the Slash Tokyo movement. Uh, so three years ago, uh, four years ago, I uh, joined to the Slash in Helsinki as a, one of the sk uh, speaker, and I was so shocked and so inspired that this kind of movement uh, driven by the young people and also uh, they are making a change, uh, they are changing the world better. So uh, I decided to uh, bring, introduce uh, Slash Movement to Japan. So uh, as you can see, uh, feel uh, the, uh, that this atmosphere is a kind of uh, uh, fulfilled with a miracle atmosphere uh, feeling that uh, 
all the events is driven by the student volunteers. And, uh, but uh, uh, fortunately, the, the great guys like you guys get together and create uh, uh, this kind of amazing event. So um, I found uh, that the, uh, the Kaidi and her team is making a revolutionary great new platform for the startups and investors, individuals, to support the great startups uh, to inno make an innovation to the world. So um, as you know, um, in these days, uh, startups are a little bit struggling uh, about uh, fundraising. Uh, the, if uh, they, can, they could meet the great supporters or the investors, uh, then they can get, get the funded. But on the other hand, uh, if they couldn't find uh, great investors, then uh, their uh, challenge, big challenge, uh, sometimes fails. But uh, thanks to the funder beam, uh, if uh, the startup's information will be totally translated, uh, transparent and open, and then uh, I'm sure that the uh, more more uh, supporters will support the many startups uh, compared to today. So. Uh, um, I, we believe that as we should definitely support the Funda Beam's big challenge as a startup. So uh, our mission is uh, supporting the startup and entrepreneurs. So uh, we will uh, accelerate the Asian Pacific market uh, and to, to, uh, for, for the startups to get funded. Uh, it's a kind of the democratization of the fundraising process. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we will make a big movement uh, within a, a couple of months. So uh, the, the please uh, wait for uh, the next step. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, shake hands. Shake hands. <laughs>